everyone. Hi. This is Sha. I'm Shal, and this is Aliza. And this Hi. is the kitten. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Yeah. Her name is Lucky. 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 Yeah. Lucky, Lucky. Well, Lily, she's inside. Yeah. Lily uh, had two brown eyes. Okay. She has only one. Okay, kitten, go, one. go over there, kitten. Go, 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 yeah, go. Come on. Come on, Lily. Play with Aliza. Come on. Oh. Don't cry, don't cry. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Good job. It's okay if she goes. I'll take care of her. There. Maybe she wants to sit. Okay. Anyways, now let's read. So, okay. This is read now, book five. And I'm going to be doing um, chapter 12, page 75. Uh -huh. Better than teeth. Now I'm going to read. Okay. Three hunters, a stoat, a weasel, and a polecat, agreed to live together and to share the spoils of their hunting. They took possession of a deserted badger's earth and have closed the exit until it was but a small narrow passage. They set themselves to make it cozy. While they were still at hard work... Oh, <laughs> oh so cute. <laughs> Okay, 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 there you go, kid. Yeah, you can go anywhere, but don't go okay. out. Okay, now that I'm reading, okay? There were, when they were still at hard work, they were visited by a ferret who had escaped from a game preacher, gamekeeper's cottage and who begged them to allow him to be one of their little family. Then they agreed. And with the help of the ferret, who worked hardest of all. They soon had their new home snug and comfortable. For a time, all went well with the four friends. They hunted together and brought their captures home to be devoured. In page 76, in comfort. Soon their den became very untidy and dirty, and so they had to make a different plan. Three only would go hunting while the four stayed at home to tidy up. They agreed to take turns to at this irksome task in order that all should share and share alike. By day, the, fourth, the four slept together, for they were all night hunters. At dusk, three would set off and return again before daybreak. The second plan did not last long. They soon were tired of having to stay home every fourth night. Each of them was a hunter, and each loved hunting above all things, and each of them equally hated keeping house. They sat talking it over gloomily when suddenly the weasel exclaimed, Why, how stupid we are! It is a servant we need. Whom shall we get? You can't beat a rabbit for a servant, growled the polecat. They were respectful, they were respectful clean, and hardworking. That's true, read the others. Well, the friend added with a chuckle, and as rabbit does not like the food we eat, she won't steal from our larder. The very next day, the very next evening, they kept the rabbit and dragging it, dragging her to their lair, told her that in the future she was to be their servant. Uh. Aww, so cute. She came over here by herself. Her nose is so wet. <laughs> okay. The poor rabbit, and overjoyed to discover she was not to be killed, was only too happy to agree. You promised to serve them faithfully and well. You'd better, they snarled in a dreadful chorus, glaring out of the red eyes and showing their cruel fangs. The rabbit, however, was as good as her word, and a better servant than she proved to be would have been hard to find. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the four hunters were not a bit grateful, and indeed, the more she did, the more they expected of her. Moreover, they gave her so little leisure that often she had no time to get anything to eat. But she did go out for food. Just before dawn and after sunset, one of the four would always come with her to see that she did not escape. Always, they hurried and bustled her, and snapped and snarled at her at her so that she oh hello mano okay don't cry baby don't cry don't cry and not 
crying. They just want to play. It's okay. Okay now. Yeah, yeah, they're behind the bed. It's okay. It's okay. It's not sad. It's just tired. Okay. Um. That see that she did not escape. Always they hurried and bustled her and snapped and snarled at her, so that she was only able to nibble a few clover leaves. The rabbit grew thin and sick and weary. She was always hungry and always tired. She longed to escape but couldn't find no means of doing so. For once again, only three of the killers were hunting, leaving one at home as the guardian. But the one whose turn it was to stay home did not mind, as he only rested and watched the rabbit work. One evening, just after the others had set off to hunt, the weasel who was staying home that night closed his eyes for a short nap. The rabbit, po the rabbit poked her head out of the hole for a breath of fresh air and the faint hope in her heart that some clover leaves might be growing within reach. Oh, 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 oh. she's still. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay. I can even touch her like. A hedgehog came wobb waddling along and said very pleasantly to the rabbit, Evening, Long Ears, going for a little stroll. Alas, said the rabbit sadly, strolls are not for me. I am a servant with the four most cruel masters in the world. And she told the friendly hedgehog her woeful tale. The hedgehog bristled all his spines in sympathy. I, would, I wouldn't put up with it, he snapped. Shush, you'll wake the wheel, whispered the rabbit. Fearfully, Pa, you're too timid, went on the hedgehog. It's all very well for you to talk, said the rabbit. But if you were their captive, you'd do no more than I, for you are no fighter either. Quite correct, said the chuckled hedgehog. I am no fighter. I know, but I'm something better than that. What, asked the rabbit? I'm a sitter tight, giggled the hedgehog. And sitting tight is better than fighting. Yeah. She's so cute. Yeah, wait. Let me just put her over here so she can she won't be hurt. There we go. Okay, actually I'll put her over here. Here you go, kitten. Go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's read now. Page seventy nine. You're lucky to be able to you're lucky to be able to, went on the rabbit glumly, but that doesn't help me. Cheer up, said the hedgehog. Perhaps my power to sit tight may be able to help you. Now tell me, do your masters ever stay at home at all, all at the same time? Why, yes, replied the rabbit. Nearly always during the daytime they're together and mostly asleep. But I can't get away at the least noise awakens them. But you can manage to slip out before they could stop you, asked the hedgehog. But could you manage... Uh, rest replied the rabbit, but it wouldn't be a little use, for they can all run faster than I, and I would, and they would recapture me and kill me before I had gone a dozen hops. Now, don't be so timid, continued the hedgehog, but trust me, tomorrow when they all are asleep, you slip out and leave the rest to Brother Hedgehog. The hedgehog then gave such a chuckle of laughter, yeah. and the rabbit scurried back inside the den, yeah. that the weasel yeah. should awaken from his... She's behind me. Ernie, hello, kitten. You can't go behind me. What are you doing? Sit down over here. She climbed over here, here to over there. I'm so close. I'm calling you. She's so she she's so cheeky. Yeah. She cheeky little one, cheeky. She's like a ninja cat. It's okay. Yeah. Come with me. Oh. Maybe she wants to go to the bathroom. Okay. Way. Anyways, now how am I going to read today? Okay. For all of her fear, however, the bold words of the hedgehog had given the rabbit so much courage that on the morrow when her masters were asleep, she slipped out. The noise awoke the sleepers, but before they could follow her, the hedgehog outside had rolled himself into a ball and went and went himself into the hole. The four furious hunters pricked their noses many times against the hedgehog's spine for they gave up by the attempt to remove him and began to dig around him. By the time they managed to get out, the rabbit had vanished. They turned furiously toward the hedgehog who still lay in a spiny ball. We'll kill you for this, snarled. They snarled in rage. 
Kill away, giggled the hedgehog, safely rolled up. Kill away, my pretty ones. Don't let me stop you. We'll have you when you unroll, screamed the poor cat. I should be a bit surprised, replied the hedgehog, but as I am just going off into my long sleep, and the last five months, I should think that you'll get tired of waiting. This was not true, for the hedgehog only sleeps with long sleep in winter. But the savage hunters did not know this, and after waiting a long a little longer, they growled and wanted to finish their sleep. Soon after, very cautiously, the hedgehog unrolled, and finding the coast clear, darted off and was soon out of sight. When some nights, when some nights later, the hedgehog met the escaped rabbit, and she overwhelmed him with thanks. The hedgehog just chuckled and said, "Don't mention it, young long ears, but remember that fighters don't always win." The end. That was a nice story. Oh, look, the kitten sitting beside me. Aww, she's so cute. Bye. She's the cutest kitten. Bye bye, everyone. She's so cute. Say bye bye. 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 bye.